Hi everyone, this is Ashley with Marsh Flower Studio. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this adorable little long neck dinosaur. I call him Arlo. Uh, if you like this cute little dino, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and give the video a like and subscribe so you can see more adorable, cute, fun things as they come out. And check out the other videos that I've already posted. Uh, there are some really fun patterns and things to make already there. So, you really only need one color of yarn for this little dinosaur. And this color is sage. The color that I'm going to be using while making the video today is called blue spruce. So, it's kind of a we'll say slate blue okay and because this is one of the smaller projects I like to use my four millimeter hook for those just makes things a little bit more tight and sturdy uh, especially um, for things like this neck we want to make sure that it's going to hold that head up and not just flop over and the legs are not stuffed so we want to make sure that those are also nice and tight so that they will hold up this little dinosaur without having to go back and stuff them. So I did stuff the neck um, of this little guy just because I wanted to make sure that it stayed you know, nice and straight holding this cute little face up. <laughs> um, but it's a couple different parts that are sewn together in the end. So we have the head, the neck, the body, and then the four legs. So I'll make all the pieces and then at the very end you can watch as I sew everything together if you just really want to see that or you can head off on your own and finish it up. So we'll set this one over here and I'm going to start with the head. So we're going to make our magic circle I'm going to put six, of course, single crochets in the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so then our next step is six increases. So we'll have 12 stitches at the end of this row. So one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. And of course our background noise is brought to you by the Tiny Tornado Toddlers again today. All right, our next step is going to be to do two rows of single crochet, so 24 stitches total. You can count to 12 twice or you can just count to 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. All right. For the next row, we're going to do two decreases. So two decreases. There's one. Whoops. There's two. And then I'm going to have eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, and eight. Okay, in our next row, we're gonna have two increases first. And what we're doing is we're just kind of creating this little dip that's in between the end of his nose before we work our way out to the eyes. Okay, so we're just doing this little, this little dip here. Kind of adds a little bit of extra character to that face. Okay, so two increases and then eight single crochets again. So there's one increase. My second increase one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now we're going to have two rows of 12 again, so another 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, so we're almost done with our head here and we need to put our eyes in place, okay? So, there's two different ways you can do this. Well, more than two, I guess, technically. Um, I'm going to use safety eyes. I've got some little, little eyes over here I'm going to pop in. I use those increases and decreases that are right here as my kind of place where I put my eyes right back here behind those. So between rows six and seven, or where I put my eyes. So my eyes for this guy are gonna be back here. So I've got my nose and then my eyes back here. However, because this is something that you can totally make your own and make unique, um, if you wanted to use this end as the back of the head, and put your eyes maybe more like here. Here, I'll put both of them there. So this makes a little bit more sense. So you could have this be the back of your head and then close in the end of your nose. Okay, it just depends on which side you want to be the back of the head and which side you want to be the nose. All right. I like to put mine so that my magic circle is my um, nose. So I'm going to pop these on that side again between row six and seven. And it may be a little tight try to get these backs on. Ugh. And they're close together as well. So we'll try to get them on there as best we can. And because they're so close, they kind of create this little bridge in between, kind of on their own, which is nice. All right, so then we're going to put a little bit of stuffing down in this head here. I'm going to use my stuffing stick to kind of get around the bottoms of those safety eyes. 
And you want to make sure that your stuffing is not pushing your eyes to go in a weird direction. So we want those eyes to kind of point forwards and not accidentally have them pointing kind of straight up or backwards. So I need a little bit more stuffing. Pack that down in there. And then our last row to close up this guy's head is just 60 creases. And then we'll use our sewing needle to close up that last little bit. So there's two, three, Four, whoops, five. I'm going to do a little slip stitch to kind of finish this off. We'll cut our yarn and then use our needle. We go from the outside to the inside under just that front loop. We'll do that with each stitch all the way around. And then, because I like to tie things, <laughs> just a little extra measure to make sure they don't come undone. So I'm going to pop my little slip knot back here. And then we'll feed both of these back through the piece to hide those tails. So this head definitely looks a little smaller than the first one, but it's mostly just because it's a different brand of yarn. Okay. So always keep that in mind whenever you are kind of following somebody else's pattern. That size difference is going to vary a little bit depending on how tight you hold your yarn, the kind of yarn you're using versus the kind they're using. All that great stuff. All right, so next I'm going to make his leg, not his leg, <laughs> jumping ahead of myself. I'm going to make his neck. Uh, the neck is very easy to do. We're going to have six single crochets in our magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, for our next row, we are going to have another six single crochets, but they're going to be back loop only. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So then you're going to have seven rows of just single crochet. And I thought seven rows was about a good length uh, for this neck because you don't want to make it too tall so that you end up having a dinosaur that tips over because it's 
out of proportion. Um, if you want to have a couple more, of course, go for it. Um, but I have seven rows. So I'm not going to count these. I'm just going to kind of make sure that I have seven rows when I'm done. One thing I am going to do is I use the starter tail to sew the head to the neck. So I'm going to take it and feed it back up through, not the center of that magic circle, but kind of out the side in that first row there, so that I've got it to sew to the head with in a little bit. we have this is my back loop row so that's one two three four five six seven so I need two more because we have nine rows total So I'm going to do my little slip stitch. I'm going to pull off some yarn so that I can sew this. So this part will get sewn to the body once the body is made. And then this top part where our magic circle is will get sewn to the head. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to sew everything together kind of at the end so that I'm not taking video time on sewing. All right, the body, the main attraction, <laughs> and your lovely serenade with an E-I-E-I-O. All right, so we're going to start with six single crochets in our magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, And we're going to have six increases, so 12 stitches total for this next row. So one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. And we'll have an increased row to get us out to 18. So we have an increase in a single crochet. Next three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
16, 17, 18. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to have seven rows of single crochet. All right. So I'm going to put my stitch marker in again. I'll do the first two and then use my hairpin stitch marker. Start working on those seven rows. So this video is the first time that I am, I guess, releasing this pattern. Um, I am working on kind of typing everything up and getting it ready to kind of publish that way as well. But that's not super fun and this is. <laughs> I guess I need to work on prioritizing and time management a little bit better, right? I think that's something we all need to do. Something I am curious about, when I finally get around to publishing these patterns, I'm curious if everyone feels like they need kind of step-by-step -step photos, or if maybe just providing a link to the video is enough to answer any questions about how to make it or sew it together, things like that. Uh, me personally, I kind of prefer a, an image of the finished piece and then I'm good. I don't need all of the 10,000 photos of this is how we sew it together. So I'm curious how everybody else feels about that. All right, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one more row of single crochet here. And then we will start decreasing to create his tail. I love the idea of doing these in different shades of blues and greens and then using chunkier yarn to even do some that are a little bigger so you have siblings we'll say that are larger than the babies 
All right. For this next row, we're going to have um, a single crochet and a decrease. So we're decreasing down to 12. So one, and two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Next we have 12 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next, we're going to do four single crochets and a decrease. We're going to do that two times. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease. One, two, three, four. and decrease and then we're going to have 10 single crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of stuffing down in this body because it's only going to get smaller. Next, we'll do three single crochets and a decrease. I'll do that twice. So one, two, three, and decrease. One, Two, three, and we decrease. We'll have eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Almost done. I'm actually going to take this out because it's not really helping right now. All right, so now I'm going to do a little bit more stuffing because I want to make sure that the tail is stuffed pretty well. I'm going to do two decreases side by side. There's one, and then two, and then four single crochets. So one, two, three, 
two, three, four. We'll do six single crochets for our next row here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then this is going to be a little difficult, but if you can do it, go for it. So we're going to do two decreases. And then if you can do the last two single crochets, try to get those in as well. I know sometimes things start to stretch and get tight. I'll just turn that one into a slip stitch. All right, so I'm gonna pull out a little bit of yarn, and cut it off. And we'll sew this up just like we did with the head. So we're just gonna go around all of those last stitches, outside loop, from the outside to the inside. square knot here in the end just to help make sure that it's nice and tight that's not just going to start to unravel once it's being carried around or played with our head, our neck, and our body. So those are ready to go. So then the last part is just creating your feet. Okay, so feet, super easy, six single crochets in the magic circle. Pull that tight. We're going to do six single crochets in back loop only. And I like to do a slip stitch when I start a row like this because it just makes that look a little bit more clean down there at the bottom. So then I'll do six single crochets. Three, four, five, and six. All right. So this is another area where you can kind of personalize your dinosaurs a little bit. Um, if you want them to just have some little short, cute legs, you can stop here. Uh, the ones that I did for my little green dino, I have two more rows of six, so 12 more stitches total. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And if you wanted to go longer, 
just keep adding more single crochets until they are the length that you would like for them to be. I'm going to stop with four rows. So I'm going to do my little slip stitch here, cut my yarn, and I make sure you leave enough of a tail so that you can tie it to the body or sew it to the body. I'm going to take that beginning tail and I'm going to tuck it down inside this leg. So even though I'm not stuffing the leg with, you know, fiber fill or polyfill, um, there is something in there to kind of help it keep its shape just a little bit. So I think for the actual sewing together part of this video, I'm going to make it a separate video. Um, so that if you feel like you need to watch it, you most certainly will have access to that. Um, just kind of decide where things look right for you. Um, I don't have a specific row that I start any part on. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry about that. So four legs total, sew them in place. Get your head and your neck and your body sewn together and your little dinosaur will be all done and super cute and ready for somebody to play with. <laughs> so remember to hit the like button for these adorable little dinos. Subscribe so you can see other videos as they come out and you can check back in with some of the older videos for some of the cute things that are in those. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.